He traded cocaine for paint, though talented he ain't. White House <laughs> officials have helped form an ethics agreement with an art gallery to sell Hunter Biden's paintings so that he nor anyone in the administration won't know who bought them or if they were sold by the ounce. <laughs> New York New York gallery Georges Bruges, which is French for Georges Bruges, <laughs> is pricing the pieces between 75 grand and half a million. And of course those hefty prices have nothing to do with him being the president's brat. I'd say read between the lines, but Hunter snorted them. <laughs> what a laugh. But it's as much a coincidence that, it has, that his art career began with his father's presidency as his hack laptop story was killed right before the election. But under the agreement, the gallery owner must keep bidders and buyers confidential and reject any suspicious offers. But if the paperwork's in Chinese, no questions asked. The whole thing is just the latest effort by the administration to address absurdly legitimate questions about how Hunter makes money. Like why his paintings have to be smuggled across the border inside someone's butt. But when you have a presidential family member slinging a product with a highly subjective value, that's a problem. As Walter Schaub, former head of the Office of Government Ethics, noted, because we don't know who is paying for this art, and we don't know for sure that Hunter Biden knows, we have no way of monitoring whether people are buying access to the White House. Hmm. So are they buying art that's crummy to launder Hunter's money? And did Hunter draw that flower to exploit his dad's power? You've got to wonder. <laughs> what his dad thinks of all of this. Look, look, I'm just glad Hunter has found a hobby that can make him some money for a change. I mean, let's face it, his last few hobbies, fairly expensive. And this whole thing is on the up and up. I mean, it's beautiful, man. It's like the price is right, only nobody knows who's bidding. There's no way to overbid. And instead of, say, a refrigerator, you're bidding on something that looks like it belongs on a refrigerator. So don't tell me this isn't a great country, man. Thank you, Joe. Kagan. It sounds to me like the White House is now running the art gallery, right? Because that the art gallery has to run all of their decisions through the White House. So they've just opened up kind of like a, a, a satellite art gallery for Hunter. Yes, actually, that's where I go to buy my panda bear paintings. Yes. That adorn my bedroom wall. Do they have big, giant eyes? Yes, they do. I love paintings where the animals have big, giant eyes, almost like teardrops. And they have a, a textural <laughs> quality. Yes. So you can touch them, oh. and they're, like, fuzzy. Right. And I, I'm coming I, over. This is a little... <laughs> I know. It really keeps my victims company. <laughs> you can sleep on them, cat. You can lay them on the ground and sleep on them. Uh, I'm brilliant. into that. Well, now you've gone so, too far. Hunter Biden can do whatever he wants at a reasonable wage, but he's trying to make money like the Burisma board member, and now these paintings of someone who actually knows what the hell he's doing. Yeah. So he wants to, he can sell paintings on Etsy for $40. Right. That's what they're worth, but not $500,000. This is literally the equivalent of him coming out and saying, I'm gonna be a 51-year-old white rap star, and I'm charging $200,000 to like perform at this hedge fund manager's Arbor Day party. Mm -hmm. It's the same sleaze. Jesse's doing that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's been practicing a lot in the bathroom. <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> Joe, what do you think of the art in general? Uh, I've seen wallpaper that I thought was better than that. But... <laughs> Hunter Biden's the only person I don't blame. It just seems like whenever he gets a job, he starts at the top. Yes. Which, yeah. which is pretty cool. I mean, uh. but spending half a million dollars on a Hunter Biden high school caliber flower painting is effing ludicrous. No offense. <laughs> no offense to people that had sex with my favorite rapper. <laughs> I'm glad you cleaned up that joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And by the way, it is, it's not grade school. It's, it's, it is grade school painting because the, it's blow. I didn't realize it, but this is what kids did. You have children, right, Brian? As far as I know. Yes, they, you blow, <laughs> you blow, he blows the paint as opposed to snorting it. He blows it. This is something that kids did during, like, uh, before nap time in, in, in kindergarten. Right. I mean, it's that finger painting or blow it. It's one thing or the other. Yeah. Whatever makes you happier. Uh, a couple of things. It's amazing. Hunter Biden was in the news twice this week. 
Uh, first was for his paintings, which he started doing last week, and now he's getting up to $500,000 for it, where everyone agrees they should not tell anybody who it is that's actually buying it. Uh, number two, the other story was, oh, by the way, there's a picture of him with two of the richest people in the world, and his father flew them down together to meet in Mexico, where they would eventually set up an international deal involving Burisma and Ukraine. But let's focus on the paintings that go for $500,000 by some mystery buyer. Mm. This is the craziest story, and Hunter is so in your face. Know what he's saying? Right. No matter what I do, I can't get touched. Nothing could ever happen to me, and no one's ever going to ask Joe a tough question. Mm. So we have to sit here. This is as far as the Hunter Biden rumors go. Your circle, your, your circle of trust. Mm. This is as far as it goes. It's crazy. Yeah, you should see the circle afterwards. <laughs> 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 Ain't no trust in that one. <laughs> Don't know what I'm saying. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Kat, um, would you, uh, how much would someone need to pay you to put this in your tiny little apartment? Uh, I mean, if I was getting paid for it, that'd be one thing, <laughs> but I don't have those advantages, right? Like, you know, when you play video games like Mario Kart, you can get like power ups. Like, you get, like right. star power, like the Thunderbolt. If life were a video game, the greatest power up would be Power Dad. Yes. Because it doesn't last for 10 seconds, it lasts forever. Mm -hmm. And if you like fall off, it, it, it doesn't matter. You can fall into crack addiction and you just fall into a lucrative art career. If you have the power, Dad, you can do anything you want. But I don't have that, so I, would, I don't have enough money to buy one of these pieces of crap. You know, the, you know who's really pissed right now is Avenatti watching this. It's like, he broke, like, let's face it, Hunter broke gun laws, drug laws. Uh, laws involving strippers. Don't know. Power what they are. Dad. Power Dad. <laughs> That'd be a great video game. You yeah. You sleep with a hooker, you get a thousand points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How, how many points would you have? It'd be a cheat code. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a jab from the Fox and Friends anchor over oh, there. Excuse me. Excuse me. I have a first name. Okay. How dare you? You're Knock living vicariously you. through Joe. Over you, here. you don't mind, do you? Well, you made a little mistake. You know that Hunter's been painting for over a year now, right? He's oh, you're right. Yeah, I, yeah, did, yeah. I did. I have to correct sure. that because right. it's embarrassing when people from the morning shows come on and drag us down to their level of authenticity. <laughs> can, I just, can I just point out, you asked the morning show guy, you keep asking me on and then asking me why I'm here. How does, this is the worst relationship ever. I know. And I keep on playing into it. But you it. keep coming back. What, yes. is my, what is my problem? Yeah. I don't know. At a certain point, you got to ask yourself. I, know, I, yes. I did. I'd rather <laughs> ask you, Kat. But then I always, I always hug him and cuddle him afterwards, <laughs> and he thinks it's all okay until the next show. <laughs> all right, up next, the words. That hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.